Hello everyone, Red Shifters here, and this is a quick tutorial demonstrating the features of both our Red Whoop Zero Grev 65 and 75 mm frames. Both frames are very similar with some obvious differences and some interchangeable features. Let's begin. Starting with a 65 mm frame, let's pop off the fuselage. Inserting the FC. Matching the front of the FC to the front of the frame, insert one side of the FC, and then proceed to stretch the frame over each segment. And here we go. The ZeroGraph 65 frame arrives with an X-Bay in order to easily mount 1S batteries in both directions, like so. The ZeroGraph 75 frame has several different features, aside from the obvious duct size, one of them being the multi-pattern on the motor mount. Uh, this allows for the mounting of three-hole pattern and four-hole pattern motors. The ZeroGraph 75 comes with an 8-bay battery mount, designed for two 1S batteries in series. It is also capable of fitting small 2S batteries like so. The 8-bay and X-bay are interchangeable and are available as add-ons on our website. Both frames have very similar camera mounts. With both camera mounts, the first thing you want to do is pop the lens inside the hoop. It's easier to go at a 90 degree angle and then work around it. And proceed to stretch the straps over the sensor. The ZeroGraph 75 frame is a little bit longer and features a double strap in order to fit multiple sizes of cameras, including an AIO. When fitting an AIO or a larger camera on the ZeroGraph 75, it is advisable to remove the center divider. When doing so, you want to leave a little bit of extra in order to not risk the integrity of the TPU. The ZeroGraph 75 is HD capable. Additional pegs were added to the build in order to boost a potential Whoop Edition DVR far enough above the FC and still fit under the fuselage. The HD pegs can also fit soft mounts. The fuselage will then be placed over your DVR like so. Our Insta360 GO camera mount can be fitted on any Red Whoop model. The mount arrives with a longer screw in order to replace your existing fuselage screw. The Insta360 can be tilted using the hinge. For further angle, hold the mount securely and rotate the camera inside it. Alternatively, you can flip the mount 180 degrees in order to have the camera sitting further back. The camera angle will then be adjusted using the flex of the mount. This concludes our overview of the ZeroGraph 65 and 75mm frames. Happy flying!